I'm on Burial Hill in Plymouth, and I'm standing at the graveside of 70 sailors and marines who died in Plymouth Harbor one frigid weekend in 1778. The brigantine General Arnold was an American privateer, commanded by a 28-year-old Irish immigrant named James McGee. Having been given a letter of marque by the Continental Congress, McGee and the General Arnold left Boston on Friday the 25th with two other privateers bound on a cruise to the Caribbean to begin seizing merchant shipping. At around noon, the wind shifted around to the northeast and a typical nor'easter came down the coast and forced McGee to seek shelter in Plymouth Harbor near Clark's Island to ride out the storm in an area known as Cow Yard. The other ships continued south, seeking shelter behind Cape Cod. On Saturday, the wind and the wave action picked up and the General Arnold dragged her anchors and drifted onto White's Flat, approximately one mile northeast of present-day Cordage Park, where she was quickly overwhelmed by the waves and the weather. The storm continued until Sunday, when rescuers were finally able to reach the ship. The bodies of the 70 dead sailors were taken to the courthouse in Town Square and laid out on the floor. Those who were to be buried in coffins were first put into Town Brook so the bodies could thaw and then be placed in their coffin. Approximately 60 of the sailors were placed in what was then just a large pit at this gravesite. Many of those who survived the grounding died not long afterward. Captain James McGee himself survived the ordeal and went on to great success as a merchantman. McGee was married to the sister-in-law of Thomas Henderson Perkins, a prosperous Boston merchant. McGee was employed by Perkins for many years, and he died in 1801. He asked that he be buried here in his, with his crew from the General Arnold, while his wife and daughter are buried in Central Burying Ground on Boston Common. In the spring, when the weather's a little better, we'll take a look at McGee's stately and historic home in Bo Roxbury, Boston South Bay. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, smash the red subscribe button, and tickle the little bell to make sure you get notified of all my latest content. And seeing that you and I are both here, I'd like to connect with you, and I'm sharing a link that will take you to my link tree, and it will show you all the different ways that we can connect. And just as important, if you have a question about selling your current home or buying a new one on Boston South Shore and in Plymouth County, give me a call. I'd love to help you. I'm Jim Aldrin.